Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about whether your website should have HTTPS or HTTP and what's the difference between HTTPS and HTTP. Over the years, the amount of personal data being stored online has grown exponentially. The security of this information is a major issue and two out of three internet users feel that the current levels of security are simply not good enough. It was for this reason that HTTPS came into existence. A user may be connected to a web page by hypertext transfer protocol HTTP which is not secure. To address the security issues, HTTPS hypertext transfer protocol secure was developed. HTTPS uses secure socket layer or the SSL certificate to keep traffic between a web server and a browser secure. SSL is like a padlock. Even if data is intercepted, without the SSL key, the hacker will not be able to read it. On the surface, HTTPS is the way to go. It seems obvious that anything that increases online data security is good. So why do so few websites use it? Should you not move your website from HTTP to HTTPS? Well, the debate goes on. In 2014, Google, Google announced that HTTPS would be a factor in rankings. When Google pushes a technical feature, it is normally enough to get everyone on board, right? However, in this case, it has not been so. Today, just under 2% of the top 1 million websites redirect users to a default HTTPS SSL page. Overall, under 0.1% of all websites offer users the increased security of HTTPS. Surveys of webmasters show that over half of them do not have any plans of switching over to HTTPS in the foreseeable future. The argument appears to be that even with Google backing, 99% of glo global searches do not take HTTPS into account. So it is not that important. Let us uh, look at the positives and negatives of moving to HTTPS and uh, the positives first. The first one is leading browsers like Chrome and Firefox warn users when they visit an HTTP site. Chrome uses an icon on the top, I icon on the top left corner to replace the padlock that signifies a secure page. Tapping on the icon causes a not secure warning to appear. This may cause users to hesitate before revealing any personal information. An SSL certificate is just one of the factors that go into SEO. However, that does not mean that it can be ignored. The internet is a dynamic entity that is open to sudden and rapid change. The increasing focus on data security for businesses, customers and other stakeholders is driving a change towards HTTPS. The sudden surge in data breaches could trigger an avalanche of change towards HTTPS and those who are not in a position to switch quickly could, left, could get left behind. So what are the negatives? Although Google has said that it will give preference to HTTPS version of a web page, that does not mean that the HTTP pages will be ignored. With both HTTP and HTTPS versions of a page available, there could be duplication issues with different versions coming up in search engine results, leading to visitor confusion and negative user experience. So the web developer needs to take away all the HTTP versions and leave only the HTTPS versions. It is a little time consuming for large websites. An SSL certificate is needed for HTTPS. While it is possible to get one for free, if it is obtained from a leading provider, the cost ranges from $35 to $75. There are many more factors that must be taken into account in making a decision to switch to HTTPS. So if you have a very small website, a simple content website, and it has been there you know, at least for more than uh, two, three years, just leave it as it is. You don't have to make the switch unless you're going to add a payment gateway where you're going to get information, payment gateway information from users, then you can switch. But if you are starting brand new, then it, it is advisable to have a HTTPS right away. So making the switch from HTTP to HTTPS only for SEO also does not make sense because lots of HTTP sites still appear on Google searches right on the first page for several keywords. HTTPS is a resource intensive process and may put a strain on the managing of a small business. If you're a startup, then it makes sense to go with HTTPS from the get go. That is if you're starting a website afresh. This way you will start with the latest technology and will not have to worry about change or upgrading in the near future. So I think it must be pretty clear as to uh, HTTP and HTTPS, why it is important 
and should you or should you not switch from HTTP to HTTPS. Thanks for listening and remember to press the bell icon so that you can listen to more such informative videos and do subscribe to the Local Business Network channel. Thanks for listening. Have a lovely day.